It was parents' night at Grand Island Center Catholic as they were hosting Wilbur Claytonia. Plenty of good matchups were on the slate. Starting at 171 pounds, where Zach Punchakar earned himself a major decision over Nick Hartwig of Wilbur Claytonia. The score there ended 9-1. to The Wolverines then went on a 3-0 tear. Garrett Coble was up in his 189-pound match before the ref stopped it and gave the win to John Baldwin by default. Kevin Donovan followed with a good effort at 215 pounds, but was pinned in the second period by Lucas Havel. Zach Schroeder went the distance with Derek Philippi, but fell just short with a 4-1 loss. Jumping back down to 103 pounds, Trevor Staub came from behind in the third period and got a pin with one minute left to swing some momentum back to the Crusaders. Wilbur Claytonia ended that spurt with a pin at 112 pounds as Cliff Zeger took care of Tyler O'Brien in the second period. Justice Stoltz fired back again for Grand Island with a dominating effort resulting in a technical fall over Jake Bruce in the 119-pound weight class. Landon Sin wrestled at 125 for the Crusaders and made it into the second period before getting pinned at the 337 mark by Ben Zeger of Wilbur Claytonia. Taryn Kosmicki also gave up a pin at 130 pounds in the final second of the second period to Justin Pomizel. The Crusaders fought hard to come back after Dale Kern earned a major decision in his 140 pound match. That score ended 13 to three. The next class would turn out to be the major factor in the final score as the Crusaders had to concede an open and give the Wolverines six points. Jeremiah Straska pinned his 160-pound man one minute into the second period, followed by Zach Straska, who pinned his 171-pound man a minute 26 into the match, pulling the final team score to 39-34 to in favor of Wilbur Claytonia. An open weight class made the difference as Central Catholic falls in the team points to Wilbur Claytonia by a five-point difference. For the Grand Island Independent, this is Denton Cushing reporting.